Okay, so we've talked about the different shapes of faces. You can use a template or you can draw up your own. This one is um, a square set face. So I'm gonna trace around my template. Remember you wanna trace next to the template, not on the template. All right, then I need a neck. So my head's not floating and I need some shoulders. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to very lightly, not even kitten light, more like butterfly lightly, put a line very gently down the middle. This creates symmetry so I know what's on one side of my face needs to go on the other side of my face. And I'm going to break my face down into thirds. Looks like this, one, two, three. At this first one, I'm putting in a very light, smiley line. That's where my eyes will go. I'll put two dots to say where my eyes will go. So these are my guidelines. Now, if you look at the person next to you, you will see at the end of their eye, if you look across, you'll see that is that the same at the top of their ear. So we know to guide a face at the edge of the eye is where the ear goes when we're drawing a face. Oh, that's a funny ear. At the edge of the eye is where the ear goes. Just like that. Then I'm going to put in my nose first, which we practiced. So I'm going to make sure that line's in the middle. I'll put my two train tracks on either side of that line. About the width of my finger. I want my smiley face at the bottom. My letter C on one side and my letter backward C on the other side. Give that a little smudge. Then I'm going to put in my eyebrows because they're important guides too. Our nose comes up into our eyebrows so I'm going to do a heel over the top of my eyebrow. And another one on the other side because our faces are symmetrical which means they are the same on both sides. Now eyebrows just aren't lines, they're made up of lots of little hairs. So shape your little hairs on. Alright, then we're going to start on eyes, so same as what we did before. Heel, circle, circle that's black for the pupil under. Heel, circle, circle that's black for the pupil, smiley face under. I need a mouth. At the top of our mouths we have what we call a bow, which is the top part of our lips. Then you can make your lips however you like. I'm put a big smiley face on my mouth this morning. A couple of eyelashes on. Give myself, I'm going to give myself some nice hair today. Ooh, pretty. And some earrings, because I always wear earrings. All right, and then I'm going to color it with the color that is for my class, which the teacher will tell you what color you're doing. Remember to work just with that color. Very important. Have a look at the examples of others. Good luck, guys. I look forward to seeing it. I think you'll be brilliant. So once you've done all that, go off to the tables and draw up your own picture. Remember, you might like to go over your picture with permanent marker, or you might like to leave it in pencil. Today, the materials we are using are soft pastels and oil pastels. So for the oil pastel, remember you can do a hard line and color in with it or you can push it across the page. And for the soft pastels, these are chalk pastels, you can color in with them. And this time you wanna use your finger and roll the color. You can also use the posters, paints, textures, or pencils.